Hey, hey, this is Eric with Program with Eric.com, and today we're just going to go over a real quickly a very simple Chrome extension that you should have, uh, you should be using if you're creating Ember projects, and that is the Ember Inspector. So you can download the Ember Inspector from for the Chrome Store. You can also get it for Firefox, and there's also bookmarklets available for other browsers. But we'll assume that you're on Chrome. If you're on Chrome, you just uh, go to the Chrome store, chrome.google.com web store, and search for Ember Inspector. You'll see it, and you just need to click Add to Chrome, and that should be it to get it installed. Uh, once it's installed, you can actually go into the settings. I won't do it on my computer here, but you can make sure that you can allow access to file URLs. That way, if you're running everything from a file, that you can still use the inspector. And the inspector allows for, as it mentions here, it's a tool for debugging Ember applications. So it can help you debug your local applications, but it also allows you just to go to any website that has Ember, uh, an Ember app on it, and you can then inspect it, which is kind of neat. So for example, I, I created this tutorial at the beginning of this year on using Ember 2.0 with Firebase and login authentication. So if I open up that demo that I have here hosted on Firebase. It'll bring up my web page here. If I go down to the bottom and go to inspect, I bring the Chrome tools here, the Chrome console, but I can click on this Ember tab and here is the interface for the Ember inspector. So the top on the left hand side we have this view tree and this shows all the views that we have. We have uh, an application view here and if we click components, this will actually show us a breakdown of everything we have here inside the uh, inside this example here. So we have all our link tos and our feature template and, and everything like that for our index. So if we click around here, you can see here a little bit clear. We have comments, and then we have this application. We have this post template, and then we have this edit post component, and then the edit post component has everything below here, like the markdown to HTML and the add comments component as well attached to it. You can also, at any time, if there's something that you're interested in and want to look more information on, there's this little E here. And when you click on this, it sends it to the console and on the console it kind of inspects the element and it shows you uh, all the content associated with that. So for example this is part of the post information here. So that's really interesting and that can help you debug your application. You can also in the Ember Inspector you can look at the routes. So this shows all the routes and even this shows all the routes and even the routes that aren't uh, that you're given to but for free for example you don't have to actually create them you always have an application loading and application error route uh, you can see my posts route here and then the new route I have and the index route so you can kinda get an idea of all the routes we can take a look at the data so this is all the data that's coming into the, the application here I can also click on any of these um, so if we go back and we take a look at, let's say the bottom one is hello here. That's the title. I can click on the hello and I can just change it to whatever I want here. And hit enter. And then automatically updates. So we can make quick, quick changes. And then we can also see our users, our posts. If we have any deprecations, the deprecations will load here. And then finally we have info at the bottom. And the info shows the versions, everything that we're using here. The version of Ember Inspector I have downloaded, the version of Ember, Ember Data, and all that. So this gives you a quick idea of how to use the Ember Inspector. Uh, certainly, once you start programming in Ember, get the uh, add-on, install it, get the Chrome plugin, install it, and use it. And thanks, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe below, and please check out my Ember JS cookbook where I go over this and many other things uh, in my next video. In some videos. In the future, I'll go ahead and more go over some more debugging techniques and how to create some test cases.
Thanks.